My name is Catherine Aldrich. I came last time to the last meeting we had. I read over the proposed draft that Mr. Shannon had proposed that we adopt for our city policy. Uh, I'm here listening to everybody's concerns, and it seems that we all have the same concerns, and that's our patients' privacy and confidentiality, and the ability for anyone at any time that has a badge or sits on city council to ask us to turn over private, very sensitive information. You know, I had made the comment last time, I doubt that any of you would walk into Rite Aid and ask the pharmacist of the same nature, and I don't understand why this, this industry is going to be so scrutinized. And then the other thing that I was looking at is when it said 1,000 feet in the draft, it said 1,000 feet in a straight line without regard to any intervening structures. How are we supposed to measure that? I, I, and then the mixed use, I've lived in Long Beach my entire life. There is nowhere that I could think of that is solely commercial except for where the last gentleman said. And accessibility to patients with disabilities, I don't know that there's very many options for them to be able to get there. I agree that this is a start, it's a step in the right direction, but I feel that the draft has many, many flaws. And also, as far as the comment about harmful chemicals, Tobacco is sold on every corner, practically. We don't question people who go into the store. You could buy it at the grocery store. You can smoke out on public sidewalks without regard to the people around you. So if we want to bring up harmful chemicals, there's a whole lot of other things that we should be looking at, such as alcohol, tobacco, McDonald's. You know. And then how many of us have been prescribed Vicodin for pain? That's an opiate derivative, and no one ever questions that. But everyone wants to sit here and scrutinize medicinal marijuana and the people who opt for that as a remedy. There is a large fiscal impact in implementing all of these rules and regulations, and we're going to lose a very potential tax revenue for this city. I feel that the city should maybe adopt a model based on a city that has succeeded in taxing medicinal marijuana sales. Oakland has passed their Measure Z, and it has cut down the need for law enforcement and arrests and prison space and prosecution. And those are all city dollars that get spent that we recuperate nothing from. Sending someone to jail costs our state money. It doesn't, it doesn't make us anything. Whereas we could potentially just pass our own Measure Z and tax the sales from 47 different collectives. How much money would that bring to the city of Long Beach? A city who's going to have to lay off 900 more teachers by March 15th because the voters did not pass Measure T. We need to look at the positives, and I understand that this is a societal and a cultural issue, but we need to put aside our preconceived notions of right and wrong and do what's best for our city and its residents, whether they're disabled or not.